Hi there, Robin here from Expert Island, and today we're going to be unpacking this new system we got in, and it's going to be an unboxing piece, and we're going to be putting it, well, right there, long term, is that's the idea with this guy. So, this is from Alesis, and it's their all-in-one, one-box bundle PA system. It's going to come with two passive speakers, it's going to come with a powered preamp, and the picture says it's got microphones and stands in it. Uh, we saw it from the supplier uh, in Canada here, and we thought we'd add it to the lineup of products and see what it sounds like. So, we're going to unpack it. Now, what we did do is I've already started by getting the stand ready for it. Now, the stand, because that doesn't come with it, it's just a center table piece that we decided we are going to put with it. And it's this guy right here. It's from Pile, and it is called the PLPTS4, which is nice because it's a plastic piece, so I'm not going to unbox this. I decided to pre-put it together. Adjustable, collapses really down to a small piece of hardware. Uh, you can put your laptop on it, you can put your amp on it, you can do pretty much whatever you want on top of this guy. Uh, it was really easy to work. It's, you can either, it's got a nice frame, a beveled edge, it's all hard plastic, it's uh, all metal on the base pole. Uh, strongly recommend it. If you're looking for something with a big tabletop surface that you can bring with you and take away, this guy, pretty smoking. I uh, wouldn't complain about that. So we'll put this here. And what we're going to do for sound testing is we're going to set everything up here first, see what it sounds like. Then we'll put it away. So, at least this does say that it's 280 watts, uh, 80 watts continuous, four channel power amp. Comes with some tripod stands. Get that out of the box. Lay that out. Here's the accessory kit. There's our microphone, comes with an XLR to XLR cable. So what we'll do is we'll get all that out. Speaker cables to hook up our amp to the speakers. Another stand, which we're going to unpack in a second. Manuals for both the speakers and the amplifier. Nice piece of block foam. And here we go. Here's the money. There's going to be our amp. One carpeted speaker, so now we know they're carpeted. And another carpeted speaker. All right. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes. I'm going to hit pause. I'm going to set this all up, and then we'll take it from there. And we'll let this play through for another 10 seconds or so. to say, once I actually got everything unpacked, the setup of the system, that means setting up the tripod, throwing the speakers on top, doing all that kind of stuff, only took about two minutes. I mean, it was that easy to set up. I did have to get a slightly longer uh, extension cable because the power cord on it is only four feet long, so you're definitely going to want to have that with you. The speaker cables included were 16 feet, so I can easily have each speaker at least a good eight to ten feet away from the main unit, making it really easy to set up. Again, We'll bring this now back to the table, and we'll uh, we'll have a closer look at the front. All right, we are back, and here we've got the PA80, and we've got the speaker, one of the speakers that comes with it. Now, I just wanted to get in some details on it, and we'll take care of the speaker first. So it was a 10-inch driver that we had there, and it was a really good woofer, and I thought for a 10-inch driver, for a system like this, is really good, you know, pretty nice space out of it. So if it's a rec room or a garage band or using it for a PA system for an office, uh, pretty nice. I got to be honest with you. I mean, you heard it. Uh, hopefully it came through real good for you. Uh, it does have a horn on top, so nice. It is all carpeted handles. Again, for the price point that they're putting this out at, it's pretty awesome. Uh, again, it's a starter piece. Don't, don't say, oh. I'm going to have a big party and this is going to be it. I mean, it could be. I mean, depending on the music you're playing, you might be really, really happy with it. Uh, I think if you've got a uh, Legion Hall or something like that and you're looking for something new to put in there, but you're really, it's mostly for, you know, people doing talking and stuff like that. And if a band comes, maybe they'll bring their own stuff. But if you're at home and you're looking for an amp and some speakers to hook up for uh, some electric drums, Lisa's probably a good match. 
uh, that sort of thing, or if you just need an app for, you know, you've got some uh, acoustic guitars with some pickups on it and you want to listen to that uh, and put it through a system, there you go. If you need something for some mics, there you go. Karaoke, awesome. If you're doing karaoke, this is a great system for that. So I'm going to put this on the floor here. Man, 10 inch, all wood, all carpeted, had rubber feet on the back, two quarter inch jacks on the back of it. It has a link, so they even label everything. They go to a lot of detail to label. Even the stands were labeled, giving you the uh, uh, the mounting height uh, being the minimum and the maximum. It was all labeled there for you. So, real easy again. Setup only took a couple of minutes once you get it all out of the box. So, the unit itself, really straightforward. It's all built in the front, again, carpeted. So that means we've got ourselves a wood box, handle on top, uh, on the back side, uh, power cord. You've got the two speaker inputs. It runs at four ohms, the speakers are four ohms. Everything's matched to go together, so. Cables included. The speaker cables are really, really nice. Uh, the cable for the microphone was really nice. The microphone was plastic and it was free. I mean, as a mic that comes included in a package, this way if you like forgot to buy one, there it is out of the box, you got a mic. So, now if we look at the unit here, I have to take a look at it because again, this is the very first time that I'm really getting a good up close look at it. We had uh, four inputs with XLR and quarter inch jacks on it. Bass and treble control, effects control, and uh, main gain control for the line volume on that. So what that really means is that I can adjust all the inputs separately all the way across the first four and there's a fifth one. We'll get that to that one in a second. And then we can use the master volume, which I found all the way at the very end. Your main volume out to your amplifier. The other red button that was next to it uh, was the auxiliary input. So you get this whole package of things all located here. So you get your digital display, uh, it had an SD and a USB input on it. It has digital volume controls for all of that. Pretty straightforward. If you hold the last button down, it will turn off the digital display. So it's off. That was okay. Um, the effects. So instead of giving you a dial where you have to adjust everything, tweak it, it's pretty easy. Uh, you get two options that were here. I just got to turn it around again so I can see it. It has, yes, three knobs. Repeat time and level. So you can adjust the level on all of them and you can repeat the time. So you get the reverb effect, you get the repetitive effect, the echoing effect, and then you can space it out. And then you can increase or decrease it volume level wise against the main volume, which I think is a real nice way to do it because it gives you an infinity choice of options there. Just by using the two knobs, you can dial it the way you like. That's what's going on there. Now, again, like I said, it had the line ins and how auxiliary line in. So two sets of RCA inputs, and then you still have the four quarter inch line ends going across the whole unit. Uh, I mean, definitely a thumbs up kind of product. I mean, uh, there's nothing you can't do with it. Now, there is one thing really big that you can't do with it. It doesn't have Bluetooth on it. So it really wasn't meant for uh, somebody who's just gonna throw this in the backyard and I'm going wireless, I'm gonna use my Bluetooth. You're gonna need auxiliary cables with it, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, because the odds are, in a price range like this, they would have only put Bluetooth 2.1 on it. And that would have meant you would have had really compressed audio like you do on a lot of Bluetooth systems. Uh, and the cords would have always sound better. And once you realize that, you go, I'm just going to use the cables all the time. So if you're plugging a laptop, you can plug a laptop in and a phone in or a tablet in at the same time. You can plug up to four microphones in at the same time. Uh, you can hook up instruments to it, no problem. So if somebody's using this for a keyboard, for example, I think that's a great, a great way to plug a keyboard and run a system like that. So there's a multiple of great reasons to get that. And again, it all comes in one box. So you buy it, you know you bought everything you need. Only thing you're gonna need to buy are some auxiliary cables, which I usually have kicking around here. And maybe I do, maybe there's a pair right here. So, you know, make sure you pick yourself up some auxiliary. So you need, you know, for your tablets and your phones and your laptops, a 3.5 to some, you know, quarter, sorry, RCA cables. So this way you can use the auxiliary or the fourth input line on the system. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now remember though, if you're using microphones, corded or cordless, you're gonna eventually have to plug them into the unit. And that means you're gonna be using the three pin XLR connectors uh, because those are the microphone inputs. If you want to get full gain out of your microphone, for example, this microphone had a quarter inch cable with it. Now, if I plug that into here, 
I'm going to get about one third the volume out of it. But if all I do is simply unplug it from uh, the microphone, put this cable aside, grab an XLR cable, use that instead so the three pins just line that all up. I know this might sound odd, but this is a big question a lot of people ask. How do I get more volume out of it? My microphones aren't as loud as they were uh, when I had it on just a powered speaker. Powered speakers do things a little differently than mixers and amplifiers and PA systems like this. So remember, easy little trick, tip of the day. Make sure you use a quarter inch in here when you're using mics. You've got bass and trouble controls across all lines, so it doesn't matter how somebody sounds. You can tweak their voice a little bit, get them to all sound easily. Uh, again, pretty much your imagination, and you're going to be able to do it. And I'll be honest, I thought it was pretty loud. I mean, again, garage bands, basement, rec rooms, uh, you need something for the college, you want something different, you want something fun, uh, great way to have a, have a party. Uh, at home, like, you know, I'm not saying, hey, let's go, let's be a DJ with this. Absolutely not. Uh, again, for something that's 300 US, 400 Canadian, thereabouts, uh, if you went out and rented a system like this, you'd probably spend over 100 bucks. And then you'd have to go get it and get it every time if you use it twice a year. Anyways, I can talk all day about this. Again, Alesis PA80 is the amp. The speakers really are a PA80 speaker. And... Have a look down below for the exact model number because Alesis has these really long, dragged out names and they use the names for their products as the model numbers. So have a look. It's going to be up in the search. It's going to be down below. There you go. I'm Robin. This is Expert Island. If uh, you liked what you saw, leave us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye now.